Hello, uh, this is Brian with Counselor, and I just want to take a minute to let you know that there's been a significant change to the Chrome browser uh, that will likely affect the way you can scan documents into Counselor. So, if you use Counselor to store documents, and this could be for patient documents, clinic documents, if you add attachments to your professional reports, uh, this will affect your ability to scan those documents using the Chrome browser. Uh, so, what I'd like to do right now is show you um, the steps you need to take in order to upload update your uh, counselor account and your computer so that you can uh, continue to successfully scan documents into counselor. So these changes that happen within Chrome, um, they do releases every so often. We work hard to stay up to date on you know, those changes and release these as soon as possible. So if you notice any issue where you're having difficulty scanning, it's almost certainly related to the issue, uh, the, the new updates that Chrome has released. So the basic steps have been posted on the counselor site. Uh, you'll also see them in the accompanying email uh, with this video. Uh, you can also contact us and we're happy to, to walk you through them. The basic process is really quite simple. There's just two kind of variations on how you may do it. The, the starting point though would be to find out what version of uh, what's called Dynamisoft, which is the software that Counselor uses to direct scan uh, what version you're currently using. So to figure that out, you would go into Counselor, obviously, under Administration. You can either look at My Profile um, or you can click on user list. So for example, if you're a clinic administrator and you're going to be doing a lot of you know, work on behalf of several people for this, then you'd want to click on user list. If you're an individual saying, hey, I just want to get my profile and my computer updated, then you would click on my profile. Either way, you would click on the settings option next to scanning. Okay, and that's going to show your current version of um, the Diamasoft software. So you may see it as 10, 11, 12, um, you'll notice there's a new version here of 12.3. So at this point, I'd like you just to note uh, what your current version is, okay, because that'll affect our directions going forward. Uh, then I want you to upgrade it to 12.3, please. Then I'll click Close, and I'll select Save, and that will then update my credentials. Uh, at this point, I should mention, uh, if, if for some of you, if you have not updated your um, profile in some time, you may, and, I'm, and I mean by literally the last, you know, within the last few years, uh, you may be prompted to update your password as well, because Counselor has increased the strength of the password requirements. Uh, we did that a few years ago, but you may need to update uh, that information, your, update your password. If that's the case, you do want to go back in and just verify, go back into scanning and make sure that it still is 12.3, okay? And once that's all done, then you once again will click Save. All right, so that part is done. Uh, and once again, you can follow along with the directions as well. So once you've noted the version, then you can look and say, okay, what are my next steps? So if you're currently, or you were currently on version 10 or 11, then you'd go through the process of un uninstalling the Dynamisoft software. If you're in version 12, you would jump to these directions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on these for the moment and focus on the versions 10 and 11. You would then, in order to follow through the steps here, you wanna to navigate to the control panel. Now this is gonna vary based on your version of Windows, uh, but, but you need to go down to the start menu. You oftentimes can right click, and this is a different, you're used to, you're typically used to, to left clicking, this would be a right click, and it'll bring up a menu. Um, with other versions, Windows 8, you would right click and you could see some options. So the point being is you want to try to find the control panel. Um, once you find the control panel, there'll be a series of options for you, of course. Uh, typically one of them relating to programs and uninstall program. With other versions of uh, Windows, it will say something like programs and features, and then you would click on that option. So like I said, it varies, but just look for something related to programs. Um, if you click on program, programs that uninstall, it makes really no difference. Uh, your computer will then load um, all the programs available on your system, right? And then what you want to do is you want to navigate to the Dynamic Web Twain. Now you can see I've actually installed the newer version, so just ignore this 12.3, that wouldn't be there. Um, you can see I have older versions of 12 as well. In your case, you would see version 10. You can see the version number over here. You'd see version 10 or version 11. Regardless, whatever you have in here for Dynamic Web Twain with the publisher Dynamisoft, just click on it or double click on it. Uh, if you double click, it'll start the uninstall process. If you single click, then you click uninstall up above. Regardless, that, that whole process will then um, will begin the process for uninstalling the Dynamisoft software. This may take a few moments, by the way. It's, um, so, you know, anywhere from probably 20 to, to 40 seconds for that to fully uninstall. 
once it's done it, you'll see prompts up on your screen that will you know, ask you to confirm that yes, you want to uninstall it, and you go ahead, of course, and uninstall. Um, I should mention at this point that if you have uh, antivirus software running on your computer, you're likely going to want to deactivate it temporarily. So typically you can access your um, antivirus software in your, in your bottom right menu tray. You can oftentimes right click on it or you can use different things to remove the protection. In this case, we are using Trend Micro. You can use McAfee, Norton, whatever, Kapersky, whatever system you're using, but you'll want to deactivate it because in a moment here, we're going to download the new version of the system and sometimes those um, antivirus systems will inhibit that process. So back to this, you'd remove the um, Dynamosoft system. Once that process is complete, you'll see that it is gone. You can go ahead and close this out. Then you'd go into Counselor, and you would go into any of the screens where you can scan. So I'm going to go here into the Clinic Documents screen. You would then go through the process of selecting the scanner. Um, and what will happen is, now in my case, because I already have it installed, it won't show it. But in your case, it would automatically then bring up the software and prompting you to install the software. And you may say, hey, I've installed this in the past. The point is here, we're going to be installing the brand new version, the 12.3. So go through the steps where you click, you know, download. That will take a few moments to download. Then it will run a little file or run the, it'll execute on its own. And you can then uh, follow the prompts on the screen to finalize the installation. We then recommend that you do actually refresh the browser. Uh, so that could be either clicking the refresh button in the top left-hand corner. You ultimately may even just want to close the browser altogether. So close Chrome, open it back up, um, and then go ahead and test scanning. At this point, you should not receive a prompt to reinstall the software. It should automatically uh, be in place, and you should be in good shape. If for some reason you're seeing issues at that point, please contact us, and we're happy to walk you through the process again. Okay, so that would be the process if you use version 10 or 11. If, you use ver if you're already on version 12, uh, the process is much quicker. Uh, so basically what happens is, you once again, you'd be in your profile, you'd update it to 12.3, and instead of having to go and uninstall anything, you would simply just, once again, go into any screen where you can scan. Um, here, once again, I'm in the clinic documents area. When you clicked on the scanner option, it would prompt you to load the new version. You would then just follow the steps there, install it, refresh the browser like I just described, and then you should be in good shape. You would not need to uninstall your current version. Okay. So once again, if you have any issues, any concerns with this, please let us know. We'd be happy to walk you through this. We want to make sure that it's, you know there's no interruption in your ability to scan documents into the system. Uh, we appreciate your patience with this. We want to work very hard to uh, support you as all these changes occur within browsers. Uh, once again, that's, those are the things that are beyond our control, but we want to make sure we respond quickly and make sure your experience is a quality one. So please let us know if we can help. Give us a call, live chat us, email us. Um, we're always happy to help. So thank you very much for joining us for this overview and uh, take care.